Hey guys and welcome back to the 7th of remaking Hotline Miami in Game Maker Studio. So here we go, let's actually go into some interesting stuff because hey, now it is time for some gameplay related stuff. And of course, first of all, we need to do a little bit of housekeeping, so keep things a little bit clean and orderly. And then hey, we're gonna go step by step uh, and introduce a few things. So the first thing which I um, um, actually wanted to show you is first of all what we're gonna recreate in this video and in the next one because this will take a little bit longer so first of all what you're seeing in front of you is the movement so first of all we have our mouse and then of course you can well as you can see you can pretty much turn around the sprite this is what we're gonna do very very quickly in game maker studio and then some movement and the as you can see now we can move very very quickly or very slowly and then you don't see the feet but you see that the sprite is being changed so therefore we have two sprites which are separated and then one is drawn on top of each other this is one up indie i am a programmer and hey if you like that stuff consider subscribing sharing and liking that would be amazing so here we go let's dive into the good stuff all right so what you're seeing in front of you is basically what we're going to do in the next two video tutorials so basically first of all we're going to set up the whole scene here which is going to be very quick so these are just basically tile sets we're going to draw of course you can still walk over that no physics no bouncing no collisions no nothing here and of course we want to do the rotation and the movement easy peasy stuff and first of all we're going to set up the environment because this is our basis so let's jump right into our current project, our hotline clone. As you can see, everything is there, but let's do first of all some housekeeping. Everything is kind of like meshed in there. So therefore I have made some groups and then divide into gameplay icons or for example, the title screen, which was our last one. So for example, the sprites for the title screen. Boom, we don't need that. The vignette, we don't need this. The logo, we don't need this. And the same I did for uh, for example for objects here we can actually create a new group which we call um, title screen also so title come on screen here we go boom and then of course we just input the stuff which we don't need so title screen boom the farm trees boom and the spawner of course boom we don't need them and then stuff looks neater and of course you're thinking like, hmm, what, what about the background no this one we're going to use universally all the time so therefore we have it all the time in front of us and the same what i did here for example for the icons they're kind of universal so therefore i divide that into title screen sprites which is the palm tree the logo and of course the icons we can uh, reuse for other things and of course here for gameplay i imported already some of my sprites so for example this is um my self-made thing here which is okay 30 10 here we go way too fast and then hey i guess you know how to do this so basically what i would be doing is double click edit image so because i have them as strips so here and then boom this is one of my guys so basically what i just imported is first of all the feet then the regular one so one red guy one white guy one blue one and of course a tile set so how does the tile set look like well this one isn't completely like uh, hotline miami because if you're looking for graphics for hotline miami believe me you will find nothing which you can actually use easily for free for video tutorials of course there are some well you can just google it and then find the original stuff i cannot use this guys please uh, <laughs> i need to go and be a little bit safe in this regard so sorry i have to use my own ones but i guess these ones are looking extremely neat also and for that we're just going to use these guys here as the floors and then for now these guys here as the walls of course they are dummies all right so let's go and check out uh, what we can actually first of all set up so first of all what we're going to do is create a new room where everything is happening so the room and we of course call it gameplay because this is about gameplay and then 
we're gonna change a few things. So first of all, let's make the background a little bit lighter for the eyes. Let's go something. Doesn't really matter because we're gonna input our background, but I want our background to be, so the background object to be in the background. So therefore we're gonna have our own layer. So background, here we go and put it in here. So boom. And here we can actually input our background object because we don't really want to see it. Uh, we just want to have the nice coloring effect. So therefore this guy is getting overwritten. You don't see it anyway. And here under instances, we will have our things. So first of all, let's do a few tile sets. So first on, first one will be for room. And for now we haven't created our tile set. So this is what we're gonna remedy quickly. So create tile set. Uh, yeah, let's keep it like that and then assign it a sprite. So gameplay and boom, we already have what we have. So here, this one is already aligned nicely, 16 by 16. So let's close all that stuff. Boom, boom. And let's go into the actual room where we want to go. So this guy here and then assign to our tile layer or tile set and let's draw first of all our rooms so basically this will be just the floor so let's pick one which is kind of easy to distinguish so let's go for um, wood or this and ah, let's make it with this kind of floor yeah let's go with this kind of floor so let's paint so this will be our first room in the next video I will uh, make this a little bit more nice, but for, for the um, for this video, um, I will just make a quick dummy. So the next tile set will layer will be for the walls. So these guys are just cosmetics. Of course, you could do a tile set layer and make the tile set collision on that. But eh, let's make it the old easy way. So therefore, we're gonna use these walls as top of each other so here we go we can paint this very very quickly this is the great part about tile sets i really dig that boom boom and we got our first room ready to be used at least cosmetically so boom and then of course here make an opening so we have a door which we haven't for now so we are finished with this sweet so the next part is we want to have an object player and input in here object player and this will be of course our main focus because our player is the thing which the camera is following so here we go on the sprites gameplay and go with the bluish guy and then on the instances we want to put him in here and of course we need to put them above because uh, you actually want to see him above everything sweet and for now we haven't had a camera system this will be a thing in the future for now we're just gonna use the um, game maker studio uh, room version which is okay of course it is a little bit flawed need to adapt a few things and therefore we're gonna replace it but now this is a good dummy so therefore we just say hey enable views and then of course viewport zero and as you can see this is way too big we need to have the thing smaller and for that we just divide these values here of the viewport properties to the camera so here we need let's say a fourth so we're just gonna take this dude here uh, of course this is not the best way to do this just because we get some crummy numbers because as you can see oh, 341 there you go. Uh, 341 and then this one divided by 4 is 192 I just need don't need to check it because I already did this video so trust me on this one and for now nothing is happening the camera is locked here so we just go hey follow something boom and it will follow now the player so we assign it here of course we want to give it let's say higher values for the horizontal and vertical border this just means hey at which point are we starting to scrolling to scroll uh, from the player so therefore we can actually start this dude and it will already look neat let's check it out 
check it out check it out and we did a little mistake what is this well we want to have the first room our gameplay room my bad and of course input it here so let's check it out again rookie mistake once again <laughs> as you can see it already works so in the background we have our nice thing and this is our room and of course now there is no movement but we're gonna do this in the next video tutorial here we're gonna just basically take our mouse and use it to claim where we are going so basically we have our image angle so image angle here let's zoom in a little bit get this away so basically in our step event we just say like hey we want to go at a very specific point and then for we can say hey point direction and therefore we say our x and y position and then the next point is then the mouse x and the mouse y so we can just copy paste that and boom let's check it out and now we can actually turn it around and now we are doing this so if you are thinking like what the hell is happening well there's one interesting thing about our sprite we need to center it so therefore it's normally aligned at the top left but we don't want this so we go middle center so it's aligned in the center it's a little bit difficult to see so this is the middle point this is very important because then um, the rotation will look different and now let's check it out once again and now it looks neat and of course he's moving uh, <laughs> while he is uh, doing nothing so this is a thing which we're gonna fix later on but actually let's see how far we are in all right so this is actually what you can remedy quickly also so we just say hey stop animating sorry animation and then we're just saying like hey x previous so basically this is a variable one step before the x position so this is taking the x position before the current one so the current one is x so we're just checking like hey if our current x is the same as our current uh, previous x and then here we can actually uh, copy paste that thing in here just use it for the y value and we're saying like hey wait a minute so we are in one position image speed is equal to zero and of course we are saying like hey we are moving then we are saying like hey image speed one so basically the one is just a relative value for how fast that thing is of course our dude is quite fast uh, our sprite you can see 30 frames per second way too fast let's go for eight yeah this looks much better and of course now when we start it then it will not animate but it will animate when we move but this is a part of the next one as you can see now this looks much neater but now of course we are over 15 14 something minutes so therefore see you in the next video tutorial on remaking hotline miami of course see you around and have a good one one up indie